Hey everybody, welcome back to more Frogger 2 Swampy's Revenge. So, we're done with story mode, and now we are going to be continuing with the arcade levels. So, we've cleared the first three way back when, Toad Road and One Way. There are still, well, there's still seven left, and I'm not sure if we'll be able to get through all of them in this video, but we're at least going to explore the rest of them and continue trying to get the best time on them. So next, we are on Round the Bend, which is of course held the world record, and by that I just mean the record is currently held by the infamous Brad. Well, he may have the best time, but I'm quite confident that we can beat Brad. Best time. I don't think that that's going to be an issue. <laughs> Anyhow, let's start round the bend. And as you can see, we have Frogger, Lily Frog, Tad, Treeby, Wart, Tank, Ruby, and Swampy as characters. So. I did not show this screen off earlier because I didn't want to spoil that Tad appears later on in the game. But yeah, initially when you start this, you only have Frogger, Lily Frog, Tad, and Treeby. And Treeby is a frog we haven't seen yet. And then Wart, Tank, Ruby, and Swampy are unlockable characters you get by collecting the coins. So, we've played as Frogger and Lily Frog. I'm going to play as my favorite frog, Treeby. So this level is basically just a giant bended road. All of the frogs are on the other side of the road. So we want to hop over here and start picking them up. And as usual, every single time we pick up a frog, the level gets a little crazier. As you can see, traffic is speeding up. And as traffic speeds up, we got to slow down a little bit. Like right there, the cars are coming out at a very fast rate. Ouch. I love Treeby's voice, he's basically Goofy if Goofy was a frog. This level can be hard to get a really fast time on. Again, just owing to the fact of how crazy traffic is. Whoa. Especially if the cars are just... <laughs> Arranged in exactly the wrong pattern. Darn it. Treeby's feet are too big. There we go. Round the bend. Oh boy. <laughs> Take that. Bruh. Alright, Artie's got the new best time, folks. Yeah, Trippy's just so weird. Again, all of the characters in the game are exactly the same functionally. None of them play any differently. It's just cosmetic and auditory differences, so... I still love Trippy. He He's such a weird voice. Alright, so we've cleared way back when. Toad Road, One Way, and Round the Bend. Next, we're on to possibly my favorite of the retro levels, Like Crockwork. Great name, and also just a fun level. Best time is one minute by Jim. Jim Halper has the best time for this? Really? Alright. Well, I guess now we can start showing off the, uh, the unlockable characters, starting with Wart, who is the only example here he's not a frog. He is a toad, hence all of his warts. A little brown frog. So this one has a bunch of, like, <laughs> circles that the cars drive around in. Loops, I think, are the proper name. And again, as we collect the frogs, fiends pick up. And fiends get absolutely insane once there's only one frog left to save. I'll tell you that. Oh, no! I'm losing a lot of time. Oh, man, I'm dying a lot. This is not good. Shoot, I already got that frog. Oh, my gosh. This is very bad. There we go. And now, as you can see, there's just cars everywhere. But there we go. Like Crockwork. Aw. Ward is probably the cutest looking toad I've seen. Toads are generally kind of ugly, in my opinion. Alright, we got a 40 second time limit, but I think we can do better. I died a whole lot. Again, because this level just gets insane as you rescue the frogs, the strategy is to rescue the frogs that are farthest away first. So when fiends pick up, it's not nearly as much of a bother. There we go. 
30, I think 32 seconds that time. Or no. Like clockwork. All right. No, 22 seconds, not 32. Oh, yes. Okay, that's a pretty good best time. I'm quite happy with that one. All right. Now we're on to Frog Jam, which the record is held by Wook. I don't know who Wook is, but... The best time is 1 minute and 45 seconds. This one is gonna be interesting. And for this level, we're going to play as... Tank. Tank is a robotic frog, which is pretty cool. And of course, the robotic frog is on the water level. This level is just a giant river with logs and turtles going across it. And eventually, as you rescue frogs, barricades start showing up. Because of course they do. Some funny glitchy things can happen with the barricades as well. Generally, each of the retro levels has kind of a theme. This theme is logs. Oh no! I misjumped. There we go. Frog Jam. Tank is probably the coolest of the frogs, just because he's a robot, but also, uh... I, he's not my favorite, but he's still definitely cool. I'm gonna try for another time. I drowned myself a couple times, one right at the end, which is never good. Uh-huh. Nope. Again, because the top set of turtles moves from right to left, the rightmost frogs are going to be the hardest ones to get. Which is why we should focus on them first. So they're going to be a more of a nuisance to grab later on. Alright, we grabbed the yellow frog too, that's amazing. Beautiful! We beat our record by 12 seconds again. I like I like how the in the arcade levels you can you're competing for the best time. Oh my gosh, 36 seconds exactly. I think it's meant to be. We're we're ending the time there. If we get an exact time, yeah, that that's pretty great. All right, four levels left. I actually think we may end up beating all the arcane levels this video. So next we're on Gridlock. It has a 55 second time uh, record by Jim again. Man, Jim and Wuck are really good at uh, getting the high scores, I guess. 55 seconds on Gridlock. Gridlock is going to be a fun level. And for this, we're going to play as Ruby, who is a kangaroo. Who you may have seen in the artwork. As you can see, Ruby, being a kangaroo, is quite large. But again, still controls exactly the same. Ugh. Ruby also has a very weird sound. Yeah. Uh-oh. Now the cars are moving faster. And now things get insane, because cars are even moving on the carpet, which previously that was a no-car zone. But we did it. Ugh. Ruby is creepy looking. Mostly just due to the dated graphics. Ugh. Also just very much stands out. It's like, in a world filled with reptiles and amphibians, then we let's just throw in a kangaroo. Yep, that makes sense. All right, I can get a better time than that. Darn it. I want a no death run. Beautiful. 
There we go. What a record. All right, 20 seconds. <laughs> yeah, that that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Nice job, Ruby. Next, we're on Driven Back. Probably my least favorite of all the arcade levels. It's a very gimmicky one. One minute record by Wook. All right, well, stands to reason we're gonna be playing as Swampy this time. So for this level, cars are just constantly driving at you. Just cars in different lanes drive at different speeds. This is a very slow paced level because oftentimes you'll have to wait for some of the cars to move past the others. Also, those lily pads will disappear. Yeah, if you get in a situation like that, that's never, that's never fun. Oh, yep, and now the lily pads are gone. Most of them, anyways. Uh-oh. I definitely should have grabbed the blue frog earlier, but that's okay. Well, that was a no-win situation. <laughs> I like how Swampy just is carrying his sack around everywhere. Uh-oh. That's actually a tough time limit to beat, potentially. Driven back? Ugh. Swampy looks very weird in, in this situation. Stop laughing, Swampy. It's not that funny. It's like, ah, oh, you barely beat the best time. He's not... He's having a giggling fit. It's like R for flat. What the heck? Is he just set to laugh on repeat endlessly? That's crazy. He's got that big orange bag with him. Because remember, when we play a Swampy, we're not saving the frogs. We're just kidnapping them and stuffing them in the bag. It's like Santa Claus, but in reverse. All right, let's try it for a better time. This time I'm gonna get the blue frog sooner. No! Okay, my plan is blue, green, and red frogs are the ones we're going to get first because they're farther away, and then the other frogs should be a little easier to man manage. Darn it. Like, if you get bad timing like that, it's a huge setback. That loses you so much time. No! Alright. Get the frog in the middle and the frogs on the edges. If we could find a way to get past that cycle, that would be great. We would save so much time. Okay, I can get past that second cycle at the very least. I messed up a little bit. I think we can get past the second cycle. I feel like a task on this level could save a bunch of time just by making all these frame-perfect inputs. Darn it, I couldn't make it past that one. Doof. Okay, now I can't make it past that cycle. Even though I died there, it's not actually going to lose me any time. Oh, no. I choked. That is... Okay, no, that's going to eat too much time away. I'll definitely beat my record, but man, yeah, this level... Like I said, this is such a gimmicky level, I don't really like it. Gimmicks are okay if you use them... Judiciously. Oh man! Again, won't actually lose any time that way. It's annoying that you just barely can't make that cycle though. Just lose so much time.
All right, there we go. Beat it by 16 seconds. That's that's definitely good. Driven back? 36 seconds. 36 and a half seconds. I'll take it. All right, two left. We're starting with Twister. This one was a fun one. Three minutes, 30 seconds. As you can see, it's going to be a longer one. Record held by Jim. Let's play as Tad. We haven't played as Tad yet. Not in, at least in arcade mode. Great start. So this one is, it's like Frog Jam, but harder because there are, there's, it's like in a maze, basically. So it's a spiral maze. And because it gets harder every single time you save a frog, my strategy for you would be to get the ones closer to the center of the spiral first and save the ones on the outside, which you can get faster until later. And yes, I'm, I'm resetting when I'm making simple mistakes. I will definitely beat the time for this, but I don't want to have to play this level twice. Because <laughs> again, it's a long one. Right now the crocodiles are cooperative and don't care if we step on their face. That will change in the future. Alright, here's our first one. Ooh. Not today, turtles. Again, on these levels, on the retro levels, the frogs that are farthest away should have number the top priority. No! And also, after you save two frogs, the alligators or crocodiles will start opening and closing their mouths. I lost so much time there. Oh man, I lost so much time there because I missed the cycle. This is a... I am very glad that the glitch happened there and I didn't actually fall in the water like I should have. This is another level where the tasks would be insane. No! Because, the again, the tasks would be able to make some crazy cycles that humans just reasonably couldn't. Also, for those of you who don't know, TAS is a acronym which stands for Tool Assisted Speedrun. Basically, you play on an emulator and you record it, and the computer basically will record your inputs, and you can play perfectly. And if you mess up, you can just, re like, you can make save states and reload the states later on. And it, this allows you to literally play perfectly. It's impressive. It basically shows you what is technically, what's like the best possible time. Uh-oh. Okay, I, I died at the beginning, so that's okay. Man, when there are no logs or turtles or crocodiles appearing, that's really frustrating. Tad saves himself. Because remember, in terms of the lore, Tad is the blue frog that you save. It's who he is. No. Alright, now the logs are moving a bit faster. Oh. All right, that could have gone better, but I still, <laughs> still less than half the time. So Twister, yeah, it was used. It used to be three minutes thirty seconds. Now it's one minute thirty seconds. Again, that's a long level. I'll take that for my best time. And this will be a slightly longer episode than usual, but we're gonna finish with the last arcade level, Blockade. This is the longest and toughest one of all. Buck has the high score of four minutes and ten seconds. Yikes. Now, if we're going to get through this level, we're going to need some real power. Thus, we got to go with my man, Treaty. So this level is basically exactly the same as Twister. It's just, it's got road mixed with water. And as you can see, uh, yeah, this level is very difficult. It's this difficult at the beginning, before all of the stuff gets crazy. This is also the level that if you have Feeding Frenzy 
uh, the cheat enabled, it completely breaks the difficulty of this level because you can just eat the cars in your way and get through it really fast. So um, if you have, if you're like, oh, Artie, I have the best score for this level. If you used Feeding Frenzy, that does not count. Man, this is actually a situation where not grabbing the yellow frog is almost screwing me up. Uh-oh. That's bad. That's very bad. That's very bad. Better try that one again. Uh, better try that one again. Ooh, you can make that first cycle. It's just so scary. All right, fine. We'll grab yellow frog. I'll keep going. No, I won't. <laughs> I want a good time. No! Oh, the cars move so f close together, there's very little room to walk past. That is a tight first cycle to make as well. No! Yeah, okay, if you're at the edge right there, and just every fiend is stacked against you, good luck. Like, if all the cars are just, like, in a row. That really stinks. Oh, no! The bulldozers have a slightly smaller hitbox than you might think, but uh, it's still big enough. Darn it! I thought that was... Uh. Okay, that first cycle. Okay, you can... You, okay, no. Okay, that first cycle is crazy, and I love it. You probably could have gone on the first log to grab the red frog, but I wasn't going to risk it. Oh. What's move? Darn it. Okay. Let's see if we can first cycle that red frog. Let's see if we can get it task perfect. <laughs> Okay, well that also can sometimes happen if there are one square barriers and you jump on moving platforms that are within the barriers, you can sometimes clip through the barriers. That's what Tess does consistently to get these frogs a lot faster than I can. There we go. No! I, I thought I cleared the bulldozer. Let's just grab the bullfrog. I'm trying to think if this level's getting harder as I collect the frogs. It really doesn't feel like it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Doesn't feel like that level got any harder after it got grabbed the frog, so that's a pretty good time. Blockade! 51 seconds. Down from 4 minutes and 10 seconds down to 51 seconds. Yeah, that's pretty good. Alright, well that's it for the super retro levels. So, the only thing we have left to do in the game besides multiplayer is we're going to go back to all of the levels that we played in the game. And... On our first playthrough, we were just exploring around and grabbing all the coins. This time, we're going to be trying to get the best times we can. Which is going to be fun. And we get to play these levels as different frogs than we played in story mode. So, 
that will be a lot of fun. Look forward to that next time, but that's all the time we have for today. So thank you for watching, everybody. And until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.